Hi, I'm Kathy with Level Up RN, and this is the first video in our Nutrition Essentials video playlist. So in this playlist, I'll be going over the key facts and concepts you need to know to be successful on your nursing exams and on the NCLEX. And as I go through this video playlist, I will be following along with our Nutrition Essentials for Nursing flashcards. You don't need to have our flashcards to get value out of this video series. However, there's a lot of information that you'll need to learn and the most effective way to have that information sink in is through repetition. And that is where flashcards really shine. So whether you make your own or purchase ours, be sure to review the information um, multiple times because that repetition will really help it to sink in. So this video playlist can be used by both PN students as well as RN students. So there's a lot of overlap between these two programs. And the thing to remember if you are a practical nurse student is your scope of practice. That's really the key difference. So one thing I'm gonna do differently in this video playlist is at the end of each video, I'm just gonna throw out a couple of kind of quiz questions to check your knowledge, make sure you've been listening. So be sure to watch my videos till the end so that you can see if you can answer those questions um, effectively. So they're not gonna be like nursing style questions like select all that apply or like complicated, you know, case studies. They're gonna be just kind of quick little knowledge checks. So um, I hope you like it and let me know in the comments if that is um, a good idea and if you're getting value out of that. Okay, so let's kick things off with an overview of our nutrients. Nutrients can be classified as macronutrients and micronutrients. Within our macronutrients, we have carbohydrates, lipids, and protein. And within our micronutrients, we have vitamins and minerals. So let's first do a quick overview of our macronutrients. So carbohydrates should make up between 45 to 65% of your daily calories, and each gram provides four kilocalories of energy. With lipids, lipids should make up between 20 to 35% of our daily calories, and each gram provides nine kilocalories of energy. And then with protein, protein should make up between 10 to 35% of your daily calories, and each gram of protein provides four kilocalories of energy. All right, moving on to our micronutrients. Like I said before, we have vitamins and minerals. So let's talk about vitamins first. Vitamins are further divided into water-soluble vitamins as well as fat-soluble vitamins. So our water-soluble vitamins include B-complex vitamins and vitamin C. Our fat-soluble vitamins include vitamins A, D, E, and K. So the way I remember uh, my fat-soluble vitamins is I think of a fat deck of cards. So kind of like one of our decks. So if you think of a fat deck of cards, the fat part of that will help you remember that these are fat soluble. And then when you think of a deck, A, D, E, K, that will help you remember which vitamins are fat soluble. An important thing to remember um, when it comes to water versus fat soluble vitamins is that Water-soluble vitamins require regular replenishment in the body. So the chance of having toxicity related to a water-soluble vitamin is very low. However, with fat-soluble vitamins, these vitamins are stored in the body for a long period of time. They're stored in the liver and in the fatty tissue. So if you take in too much of a fat-soluble vitamin, you can absolutely have toxicity. Okay, so those are our vitamins. Let's do a quick overview of our minerals. So within minerals, we have major minerals as well as trace minerals. So our major minerals are also going to be our electrolytes. And electrolytes are so important to know in nursing school. So you're gonna learn about them here in this video series. You're also gonna learn about them in fundamentals as well as medical surgical nursing. So learning your electrolytes is definitely, definitely going to be very important. So these major minerals or electrolytes include calcium, chloride, magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, and sodium. Then we have our trace minerals and trace minerals can include copper, fluoride, 
iodine, iron, selenium, and zinc. And we're gonna go into a little more detail about some of those trace minerals in a, an upcoming video. All right, you guys ready for your knowledge check? See if you've been listening closely. First question, how many kilocalories of energy is provided by one gram of a carbohydrate, a lipid, and a protein? So looking for three different numbers there. I'll give you a second. All right, answer is four, nine, and four. So each gram of carbohydrate provides four kilocalories. Lipids, it's nine kilocalories. And with protein, it's four kilocalories. All right, next question. This should be easy one. Which vitamins are fat soluble? If you answered vitamins A, D, E, and K, you're right. So thank you so much for listening. We're going to get into more details about our macronutrients in the next video. Take care. I invite you to subscribe to our channel and share a link with your classmates and friends in nursing school. If you found value in this video, be sure to hit the like button and leave us a comment and let us know what you found particularly helpful.